I just finished doing a video clip on creating your own custom startup and depth of field and I realized that there's one key element that I think would be valuable with that presentation but I thought I'd do it in a separate video clip and that's when you drop cameras into the environment one of the challenges is deciding um, which of the cameras are your active cameras now some of the features are hidden in the menu items and for those of you who use shortcut keys you probably will be aware of it so let me explain I, I've done a whole video called custom startup and depth of field in blender 2.8 um, and this is the scene that I speak about so when you see me clicking like this and this visuals come up it, it's all explained there so this is my default setup I'm going to just press in here let me just press in and then disable lock camera to view because that's part of my default setup so I'm going to just go yeah so this was the situation I don't know if you had a challenge where the bold triangle on the camera is what refers to as the active camera now to know which the active camera is you could go um, I think you go up to view and to camera um, you'll see there's two uh, shortcut keys there that we'll be using but for now to know which the active camera is you you'll go not to the camera section but you can go to the scene section so under scene if you go and click here you'll see there's there'll be camera one now if we drop in a second camera I'm going to go to shift a and make a selection of another camera so it's putting the other camera here and it gives me the gizmo on the camera. I'm going to just move this way and lift up. So this is the other camera that we brought in. Okay, so how do I get it to come to this camera and be active on this particular camera? Okay, because if I, if I now come to a view like this and I want that camera, the main camera, the actual selected camera to take a view from this viewpoint I will just go and press Control, Alt and 0 okay so if we look at it now that camera that was as we were looking at that was positioned out here has now taken this place so if I want this active camera to view the chair from this side I will go I'll position it in the viewport and I'll go control alt and zero and if I move back again you'll see it's moved from here on the right to this position but how do I get this camera to be the active camera and there's uh, two ways you can do that or maybe there's more ways is to come to the scene area over here but before we do that I'm just going to label this camera uh, let's double click on that and just call it cam 2 and we'll click on this one and we'll call it cam cam 1 okay so if I hide cam 1 that's the one that we have active here if I hide cam 2 that's the one that we have over there okay so we've got two cameras in our scene now one is is sort of from the side which is let's see that is cam 2 I think yes and the other one from this side is cam 1 so any shortcut key or instruction I give to look through the camera it will all focus on the active camera okay so I've done a, a few sessions where we're talking about the active camera and all evolves around the active camera but to switch it over now how do we go through that process okay if we click that camera and we come now to this section here where all these sort of triangles and areas is it stands for scene so if I click on that it's going to show our scene and in this point it's showing that cam 1 is our active camera which is this one here okay cam 1 is our active camera even though we've got that selected it shows us as cam 1 is the active so if I click in here and I go to cam 2 look what happens to this triangle here can you see there it shapes there now so everything I apply to this would apply to this camera so if I go zero I'll be looking from the side there. if I go zero I'll be looking from the side of that camera if I now move around the top area like this 
and I press control alt and zero it's going to take the second camera now that I activated and place it here on top so control alt zero positions the camera to where you are in the viewport so if I go control alt zero okay so we're over there now if you notice that camera now has been positioned up top here okay so just to make sure if you close that one and that's cam one and that's cam two but even if you select this it doesn't mean you're referencing you've got to tell the scene that now this is going to be your active camera so the way of doing that is going to your scene clicking and going and saying cam one and you'll just watch this it will become let me just turn it it will get bold okay can you see there it turns into a bold color but there for the shortcut people uh, there is an easier way of doing it is when you've selected that area you can just go you leave out the alt because you don't want to now view it from a specific angle and move the active camera to it you just want to make the camera active so to make that camera active you can go with control and zero and just watch what happens here you're going to go make that active and immediately go into that camera okay that's by default so if i go control zero and i move out of it can you see that's the camera i was looking at now that is active so if i want to make this active i select it go control zero and if i move out of it you can see this one's now active okay so if we add a a third camera if we go alt a and let's add a third camera now the third camera is there and i have it selected um, so if i move it and i even take it right out to the middle of nowhere i need to make that thing first active so i'll go control zero okay now you can see it's showing into oblivion it's it's nowhere there but now it's active now i can come back and i can position it i'm going to position it right you know, like a crazy close position so I'm going to position it here now to take that active camera that's showing into the into the ether there showing nowhere to actually position it right here what do I do I, I don't type O because O is just going to take me back there now because it's now active I go control alt and zero and yeah you see it brings me here and in the other video I explained why this view why it comes so small this is just a the actual render window if you want to zoom in you can go into it like this then you'll be close and zoomed and of course if you want to change the camera's content viewport what it sees in the viewport then we go to in to pop out local camera to view you enable that and then if you use your mouse button you can scroll back and this camera now will reposition itself according to that and then you can switch that off so it locked that camera just so that you could navigate backwards so when I move out here there I have the three cameras okay so hopefully that makes sense uh, if you want to move to this camera it's click the camera control zero boom we'll go to the top I can move away from it you'll see the camera there active the one in front select it go control zero if I move out of it again you can see that one is selected okay so uh, there might be a shortcut key just to select it and to make that the active camera without taking you into the view of the camera but it it actually does make a lot of sense to take you immediately into the view because although you're making it active it might be pointing into space so you'd want to adjust that as such okay so let's go and we're going to make that one active it's control zero there we go okay beautiful so hopefully that has helped you with being able to now make the specific cameras active. Um, there are some lovely videos out there. I don't think I'm going to make one where uh, you can move from these different, when you're creating an animation, you move in between the cameras from different parts of your animation. And that happens according to the timeline. You drop markers and then you attach a camera to that marker. I think you pressed, uh, I think it's shift or control B to bind that camera to the marker. And as you get to the next marker, maybe we should just try this. I haven't tried it before, so let's, let's get this going. We have each of these focusing on areas, so I'm going to just go back here. And I'm going to go, let's make a, I think it is M. 
Yep. Okay, so we have a marker there. And that camera is now live. I'm going to just say B. No. Escape. Control B. There we go. So there I have bound the image to that camera. I'm going to move maybe to this place. I will go to the next camera. And I, I don't think I need to make it active. Let's just try it out. I'm going to put M for marker. And then I'm going to go Control B. Uh, for binding it to that marker. Okay, and then we'll go, let me go to the next one. We attach it there. So I'm going to go M for marker and then Control B. No, I have to, oh, if I Control B and I'm in the viewport, it will change to um, box select. So I've got to hover over the actual timeline and use the control B. So control B. Let's see. If I make that selection. Okay, there we go. So if I move here, there we go. Can you see what happens? That's the view. That's the next view. Next. So if I play it through, uh, let's see if I play this animation there, pop change, pop change. Okay. I impressed myself. There. That's quite impressive of me. Um, as a newbie, I'm discovering these things. So the the ability to be in the actual animation port, you can create the marker by putting M and then binding it, making sure your cursor hovers into the animation area. You can press then Control B and then it will bind that camera that you've selected. So you don't have to do what the early part of the tutorial did to actually make that an active camera. Okay, so that works differently if you are working in the viewport as it is to animations. Because understandably in an animation you might have 10 cameras in different views and you don't want to every time go out make it an active camera. So by selecting here, dropping in a marker and binding it, that's sufficient for the animation window. But when you're coming to these windows, that's the active one. And if you want to make that one active, we'll go Control zero and it makes it active and it jumps into that camera at the same time. Okay, so hopefully that has given you some sort of uh, insight. I was quite anxious because I was trying to get this thing to move across and every time I did the shortcut keys it was only referencing the active camera. So remember your zooming in your zero and your navigation and locking to camera and all that always refers to the active camera. So make sure that if you want to reference from this one, go make it the active camera with control zero. And then you can do all the other stuff from there, from depth of field and everything like that will then apply to that specific camera. So yeah, um, hope that has been helpful. Have a fantastic day and God bless.